Welcome to Differential Reports Approval or FRA demo. FRA is an example of a, an industry process accelerator targeted to differential services uh, vertical, yet applicable to all organizations that need to produce financial reports for internal, external, and the regulatory purposes. Most organizations will go through a process of producing these financial reports relying on a combination of email and phone in various document formats. And many times, uh, all the actions that are put in place to make sure that the data in the report is accurate are not uh, followed up. Therefore, there's a need for a workflow. BPM is the ideal tool for tracking all the actions that happen uh, during the production of financial report, which is also a very expensive process, given that it happens, for example, every month. This is uh, the financial reporting approval high-level business flow in which we show the out-of-the-box uh, functionality, what are the roles that uh, that functionality covers. And obviously these roles being this PPM are heavily configurable and easily. We have a, a role called credit risk. These are the guys that create a financial reporting schedule. Based on the schedule, we generate financial reporting processes every month or every week or every quarter, depending on the frequency. The system is periodically kicks off the financial reporting approval process. And once it's kicked off, the first role that is involved is uh, what we call global financial services in our demo scenario, or financial services, that they load the unadjusted Excel. It's important to notice that this process is based on Excel. Excel is a tool that the financial community is very well known, obviously, and therefore we want them to use a tool that they are familiar with, yet be able to track what's going on in financial report. The system, once GFS has loaded the draft report in Excel, makes it available for investigation management. Credit risk are the experts that open the Excel and request investigations using that Excel. They request investigation and then GFS or Global Financial Services, again in our demo scenario, you're going to actually look at them, open the Excel, resolve the investigation, claim investigations in case they need more time rather than resolving right away, and finally resolve this investigation. And uh, the credit risk can approve that investigation resolution or they can request more info. And finally, the important thing is that there is a process to track each single investigation so that the investigations are completed on time. And once the data in the Excel is believed to be correct, and there may be multiple versions of the Excel loaded, maybe what happens is that GFS goes into the source system, changes this data, the data goes into the Excel, and this new Excel version is used to, to open investigations. This may be the typical process that we expect working also with our customer participation program uh, to help us uh, define this process. Finally, once this data in the Excel is correct, Credit Risk is going to select the Excel that contains the right data and move it forward into the next step. The next step is called FPNR preparation in our scenario for financial preparation of the report. This uh, resource, this role, will actually take the data in the Excel and create what we call a sign-off pack. And this sign-off pack is a PowerPoint or PDF, usually nicely formatted with nice graphs, and that's the official document built based on the data in the Excel that has been uh, iteratively improved until the data is believed to be correct. Finally, once the sign of preparation is done, submitted for approval, credit risk management is the first uh, role that we have in this scenario that will approve the sign-off pack and the sign-off pack will go for final approval by financial leadership. And uh, once financial leadership are approved, then uh, this document will be the official document to be recorded. Let's start with the actual demo. You can see the first step is creating this financial reporting schedule. And so by clicking on Manage Financial Reports and their links, we will be able to actually create, add a new schedule. And again, this schedule will be critical for making sure that every month or every week, whatever frequency is, this report is kicked off. This is associated with the organizational structure. For example, in our case, a type of report, FS804, organizational unit as the legal entity, division, product scope, frequency is monthly. And once we established what is the type of the report and the organizational scope, we can go and define what are the milestones. 
and we have a start day milestone. In this case, don't look at the milestone too closely. These milestones uh, have been uh, structured so that we can run the demo quickly, but otherwise the start day wouldn't be the 24th day in a month. Usually it will be the first day or the fourth day of the month. Then there is a, a milestone which is draft submission day, review start day, review close day. That review start day and close day delimits the period during which investigations can be opened by credit risk and resolved by GFS. Here we have the approval pack preparation day start, that's the sign off pack, up until the close day, which is the day that we expect to be done with this report. We then save the report and at this point we can log out. This is the first step, define the schedule. We can now log out and what we're going to do for the purposes of this demo, rather than waiting for the 24th day of the month to come, we're going to actually force the process to start right away. We do that uh, with Enterprise Manager. Obviously, customers wouldn't need to do this step. But what we do is uh, we actually go and specifically say, launch a process. These are the steps that we do. We submit a report. And once the report has started, we can start with the first step, which is submitting the draft report. The system has assigned to GFS the submit draft report task. And so what GFS needs to do is to add this document, which would be the first Excel to be considered, the document status draft for review. We can add a document. We can browse for the file. We select the file in this case for a non-core retail mortgage for June and uh, submit that document. At that point, we need to submit this task to signal that we are done with the task. Typical for BPM. So GFS is done. The submit report has been performed. And next, Credit Risk is going to log in. And what they see is that there is a new report ready for opening investigations. So now that they know that, they can go under Applications, Manage Investigations, is the link they need to click on. And they can see, they can look for that report that they are interested on, and presumably they will have many reports that they need to look after. And so they select the report ID. They search, in this case, we search for everything. That's the ID that we care about, an on-core retail mortgage. And that's what they see. They see this report ID, and they can now open the file to, before the opening the file, they want to check it out so that they lock it and you'll see in a while why. They click on that link, they open the Excel, and yes, I'm using my laptop for playing all these roles, so bear with me, I will say multiple versions of the same file with different names. I can open the file, the Excel, and I can see Oracle PA. And here under Oracle PA, I select the cell, click on Create, and that will create an investigation that will signal to GFS that uh, I'd like to request an investigation because the, the decline of drone exposure is too high. The investigation is now created. I can select another cell. I can click on Create again. And I can specify, again, what, what are the reasons why I want this investigation to be run. And again, another investigation has been created. At this point, I'm done for now. I save the Excel. And I close the Excel. Oh, every time I do this, since there are macros for making uh, the investigations work, I get this message saying that I, I need to uh, actually confirm that I am okay with the, uh, com the macros. I check in the file now, which is which means I'm uploading the file and making it avail available for the system to work on. And what is this system going to do? It's going to open it and it's going to extract the investigation I just opened. I click OK to confirm that I'm done with this action and the investigations have been created. And now another user, GFS, which is responsible for resolving the investigation, is logging in. They will see two new tasks assigned to them, one for investigation ID 1 and 2. And so if they click and they check out the file again and they save the file, what they can do is uh, to open the file and they see that uh, there are two investigations. They can click on investigation, click on the Oracle PA tab, and now they can either claim or resolve. In this scenario, we'll just resolve them right away. I check the source system. This is due to the London market and uh, this is resolved. And now I can go to the next one. 
I can, uh, again, resolve also in this case. Again, due to the London market, there was a decline. Investigation ID is resolved. The actions have been performed in the Excel have to be published to the system so that the next the person line will work on these investigations. And so I save the file, I close the file, and I need to check the file in. And so I do that. I select the file I just updated with the investigation resolution, which is GFS resolve, in this case is the name. I click OK. And now it goes into the into the result state, and the next step is approve. I click OK to say that I completed the task. I log out, and the next person line needs to do something about this investigation. This is credit risk. They need to approve the resolution. And so they see two tasks generated again by our FRA PA. They click on that, and to approve, they need again to check out the file, open the file. They're going to save it, and they're going to save it with a different name, which is uh, Approve. They click on Oracle PA, they select a cell, and they click Approve. And Investigation 1 has been approved. And now Investigation 2 needs to be approved. So they select it, they click on Approve, and the Investigation Resolution is now approved. As you can notice, uh, all this uh, history is being captured in the Excel as well as by our FRA process accelerator. At this point, I can close the file. And the next step, as in these previous two steps, is to actually check in the file, upload the file that uh, I just uh, modified. Click OK to check in the document. If I click on the comment icon, by the way, I can see all the comments that have been uh, recorded here, for example, for this, without opening the Excel file, if I just want to view what's going on. I click OK to confirm a task. I log out. I'm done. These investigations have been resolved and approved now. At this point, right now, the close day, Creole Serial Day arrives, and we have, uh, in this case, one version of Excel We've been working on only one, one version of Excel, but you could have multiple Excel in the view. We, know we need to promote to finally adjusted one of these from draft to finally adjusted. And we select one of the documents, which is uh, obviously the only one that we have there, and we promote to finally adjusted. This is step by, done by Credit Risk. Now we have the file that contains the right data after all the investigation have been resolved. Next, this Excel file is given to the FPNR preparation. They will prepare the send-off pack. And uh, Jane Austen has been assigned a new task to submit the send-off pack. What she will do is to actually download the Excel, look at the data, use the data to create the send-off pack, say a PDF in our case, and then upload that PDF. This is the step to upload the PDF. She will uh, add a new file, and the new file is this uh, uh, sign of back PDF. Click OK. Submit this to signal that uh, she's done with this step. And now FRA will get this uh, sign of back and move it into approval. The first approval is credit risk management, as we uh, mentioned at the beginning. And so credit risk management has one task assigned, which, which is approve the sign of back. They click on the documents link, they review it. In this case, we just click approve, but they would obviously look at the content before clicking approve. Now we have two approvers, and all these approvers are in parallel for credit risk management. Same thing, they can click on the document, open, download, view this document. And then at the end of the day, you know, if they don't have any comments, they can approve, or they can also reject, and it will go back to in our preparation. And now there is a final step, which is uh, credit risk has so approved the financial leadership needs to approve. So they can click on the links, view the documents, and at the end of the day, provide comments, reject, or approve. In this case, we will approve. We have two approvers in financial leadership. 
And so in this case, Jack London is, this is the final approver. We'll also open this uh, sign of pack, the PDF. We'll save it on uh, his or her desktop. We'll uh, open it. And then at the end of the day, once he or she is satisfied, they click on approve. All of this activity has been uh, recorded also in back. So there are some dashboards that delivered out of the box. We need to select these dashboards in BAM. And we have a set of FRA dashboards here. So the first one is an analytical dashboard. And uh, you can see the average duration by phase, investigation summary, how many investigations have been opened, and also the investigation resolution type. The other out-of-the-box dashboard, the BAM dashboard that is delivered with FRA is the investigation activity dashboard which uh, goes more in detail in terms of what happened for each investigation and each report. Here, for example, we see for one FR schedule, the non-core we just went through, we can see the investigations, how many they were open, the investigation resolution time, and the investigations by financial analysts that opened them, in this case, uh, Jay Stein. And finally, there are some alerts that are configured. Those are alerts that uh, describe uh, what are the and assign investigations, if there are any that have not been assigned, as well as uh, if uh, the number of investigations goes over a certain limit of 10. If there are more than 10 outstanding investigations, then maybe an alert will be defined and will be generated. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to your adoption of FRA.